All right, let's cut to the chase. September 2024 was a roller coaster in the world of 90 Day Fiance. From jaw dropping drama to even more questionable life choices, the stars of this wild reality show never failed to keep us entertained. This month was packed with explosive arguments, cringe worthy moments, and some truly unbelievable twists. So buckle up as we break down everything that went down in the 90 Day Fiance universe in our monthly roundup. Uh, let's start with some of the new couples. TLC introduced fresh faces with even crazier storylines in the new season of Before the 90 Days. One of the standout pairs is Tiger Lee and Adnan. Not only do they have a 19 year age gap, but after knowing each other for just four months, they decided to get married within 24 hours of meeting in person. And yes, the show captured the entire ceremony. Boy, oh boy. Tiger Lily and Adnan, you guys are the epitome of love at first sight taken to the extreme. It's like you both skipped the getting to know each other phase and went straight to forever. It is going to be fun how this couple turned their relationship in trash in upcoming episodes. Moving on to Faith and Lauren. TLC is really trying to push boundaries this time around with inclusive cast members. Faith is a trans woman from the Philippines and Lauren has arrived there from America to be with her. However, he is broke and plans to settle there permanently. He also has an STD. Has he told his partner about all these things? Um, nope. Looks like 90 Day Fiance fans have found one more cast member to be as disgusted at a sperm donor Kyle Gordy. Lauren is the epitome of all things gross. At this point, viewers are silently praying for Faith just to dump him and move on with her life because she deserves much better than this horrible, horrible man. Now let's take a trip down memory lane and recall all other cast members who have been a part of the show but don't appear there anymore. Well, Kimberly and TJ had their fair share of issues, but they tied the knot despite the cultural clashes and differences with their families. Sadly, the big news is that they are no longer together. Fans first found out about this after TJ shared a post declaring their split right before deactivating his account. Shabuti was the one who reshared the post. TJ's message was a bit too harsh. He used words like bye forever and mentioned how many times his ex hurt him. At last, he hoped Kimberly would be exposed to the same kind of pain he made her feel. Similarly, Kimberly followed up with her side of the story and it was no less than shocking. She recalled the time when things got so intense while fighting with her ex that he threatened to take his own life. That's not all. She also came at him with DV allegations and mentioned how he punched her once and she punched her back. Long story short, she doesn't have tolerance for such things as she had experienced similar things in her childhood and made up her mind about coming to America after declaring that their marriage was over. But enough about all things concerning, let's move to some hopeful updates. Jasmine Panay has been throwing all sorts of hints on her social media. It's not about her new relationship, but her already existing one. She has plans to bring her kids to the United States. Remember how she had a full-blown meltdown when Gino told her he didn't file the appropriate paperwork to do so. There are already rumors about their split taking over the internet. It's most likely that this fiery Panamanian has brought it upon herself to bring her kids to her. Jasmine shared an Instagram post talking about how her courage is opening new doors for her children. She revealed how her decision to immigrate is transforming her family's destiny and her entire generation. Well, let's be honest, Jasmine didn't really say it word to word that she is bringing her kids to the state, but it was clear her post was implying so. Or could it be yet another ploy to keep herself relevant? There are already so many accusations on her and Gino about faking their storyline and all its little tidbits. We did an expose on the same. Check it out here. On to more shenanigans now. Remember Danielle and Johan? Yes, the same couple who were walking and talking red flags. It became obvious the Dominican Republic man was looking for a green card and his wife was too controlling of him and intended to settle in his home country instead. During their last tell-all appearance, Danielle had exposed Johan for having way too many affairs during their marriage. It became increasingly clear that the best thing for her to do would be to leave him. But how the tables have turned... Johan shared pictures with his wife on his Instagram confirming that they have reconciled. The amount of disappointed fans in the comment section was too damn high. It's clear they feel this decision will blow up on their faces. Now onto some celebratory things. Let's talk about the sweetest, most cutest 90 day fiance couple, David and Annie. Viewers adore them to bits and have supported them in every way possible. 
It was indeed sad to see them navigate their infertility struggles until IVF came to their rescue. After months of Annie undergoing lots of treatment and surgery, she finally got pregnant. Everyone has been very happy about the couple and wishing them the very best in their journey. At last, the pair finally did a grand gender reveal. TLC's Instagram page was in on it too. David and Annie will soon be welcoming a sweet baby girl in a few months, as evident by the pink decorations all around their gender reveal event. Well, we wish all the very best to the couple. They had been waiting for this moment for years, and it'll finally be happening. On to the biggest update ever. Hold your breaths. Are you ready? The mega celebrity from the reality TV world, Kim Kardashian herself expressed interest in helping Michael Alessami during his legal battle against Angela Diem. As per the podcast Sarah Fraser Show, both Kim Kardashian and her mother Kris Jenner have expressed interest in assisting Michael with their legal expertise in his divorce from Angela. That's not all. There is a chance that he might even become part of Kim's reality show while all this unfolds. Would you look at that? That's the kind of fame Angela Diem could only dream of. Can you imagine how Mima would totally be losing it right now? It's absolutely marvelous, and we're here for Michael. Well, that's all I had for you guys. What update did you find the most shocking? Tell us in the comments below. Now, not Angela will be taking off. See you guys as I'll come next week with more exciting videos.